Hey there, it's Joshua Harrell, and I've got another great technology product, and this one is from eMeet. It's the eMeet Nova webcam, a 1080p autofocus webcam, and uh, this is a cool, I've, I've tested out a few of the eMeet products, and I've been very, very pleased with them. I think that there's some little special touches that they do that I don't think most people think about. Um, so I'm excited to test this out, one, this this product out for you, so you can see if this is a good fit for you. Now, um, the autofocus is a key feature with this product. Um, it you know if if you have a built-in webcam, it does not do any autofocus. It is not a crystal clear image. So if that is something that's important to you, or if you're doing live streams and you want a better quality uh, image, then you want to go with some an external camera like this. Now I've already pulled it out of the box, so it would be ready to go. And here he is, or here she is. She can. She, it's a she. Um, so it's got the traditional little clampy bit, adjustable bit that you can hook over your laptop um, screen. Here's my laptop. I can connect it there where it's rubberized so it's gonna stay in place. Um, it also it has two built-in mics, so the sound quality, it's not just about the image, it's also about the sound quality, so you've got that going on. And this is one of the things that I think is a clever nuance that I don't, most webcams do not have. And that is the ability to swivel. It has a nice rotation, not just up and down, but all around. So I have the ability to position this wherever I want it, um, and I can get in all sorts of, maybe you're, you've got your laptop on your lap and it's a little cockeyed, you can adjust yourself by just adjusting any way you need to. I think that's a pretty cool feature to this. Um, the other thing I want to point out is it also has space, if, uh, a, a little spot for you to um, connect this to a tripod. If you've got a little mini tripod or a regular size tripod, um, this will connect up to that and um, that would be very helpful especially if you're doing live streaming and you want to use this as your main, main camera. Um, now what I will say is whenever I test out a webcam um, in this setup I've got a lot of light on me so something that's this high quality is going to pick up all of this light whereas the camera that I'm filming this on um, kind of adjusts and wants all that light. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm gonna just plug this up now. With my um, with my MacBook, I don't have a USB port, so I have to use a dongle, but it is a USB connector, just like most webcams. So I'm just connecting it up to my MacBook here, and I'm gonna turn this on, there we go. And um, let's see, how do I wanna do this? I think I am going to, bring the camera in. Sorry, you're gonna go on a little bit of a journey here. All right, so here you are. Oops, I'm gonna adjust that a little bit. Because um, I want you to see the difference. So that's just my, my, my monitor on my desktop, on my laptop. And I am gonna go to QuickTime because I think that that is the best for, um, kind of showing quality of the the video. So I'm gonna just make a new video, a uh, new movie recording. There we go. And um, so right now you're looking at, ooh, that's very, very close up on me. So right now you're looking at um, my camera, you're looking at the quality of this camera. Like I said, I've got a lot of light on me, so I might look extra, extra bright. Um, but kind of look at the camera if you, you can in the shot. Um, see, you can see all the details of, of this camera. I mean, obviously I'm as white as white can be, so I'm reflecting all of this light. But I wanna switch the camera source, just so you can see what my built-in camera would look like, the regular FaceTime camera that comes with the MacBook. Um, look how grainy it is. It's adjusted the light. 
Um, I, it's not a bad picture, but it almost looks like there's Vaseline over the shot. Um, it's not crisp. It's not. It's definitely not as crisp as I would want it to be um, for a webcam. So I'm gonna just transfer this back to the Emi Nova, and now, I mean, it's it's even giving me more space and more depth in my in my image. So super super high quality, uh, which is something that you want there. Let's see. let me get you back situated. <laughs> I wish my uh, my fancy camera was as portable and convenient as the e Meet Nova there. Uh, I'm gonna adjust you up a little bit. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, so what I thought I would do is, you know, it does have these two mics. I can set it properly there. It does have the two mics, so I wanna get, I wanna test the quality um, and the clarity you know, of the video is great, but what about the audio? So I'm gonna just record this video. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And I'm gonna stop that. And it just recorded that. And you know what? I just realized that I didn't change uh, where my audio source was coming from. So we're gonna do that again because I can't be sure that I picked my Emi Nova, and I wanna make sure that we're testing the right thing. Um, all right, so my uh, camera, see, it was not set, my microphone was not set to the Emi Nova. All right, so now my camera, which you saw, uh, was the Emi Nova, now my audio is set to the Emi Nova. And I can already see, um, just by the bars, as it was picking up my voice, is that it was really picking up the sound. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And now let's play that. I'm going to just play that full blast on my MacBook speakers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nobody ever likes to hear their own voice, but. I do know for a fact that that is pretty spot on for my voice. So I'd be pretty happy with that in a meeting. And um, like I said, if you were using this for YouTube or Facebook Live, uh, recording any kind of video, uh, doing video trainings, things like that, I feel like the quality of the video and the audio would be exactly what I was looking for. In fact, I could probably film um, this type of video with this camera without needing all of the lights that I need to record on my DSLR. Now the other thing I wanted to check out, um, you know, I could see the quality um, and I hope you could see it too just when, especially looking at my camera and seeing the fuzzy microphone on the camera, but I wanted to see how it appear, how it does with text because when I've talked about webcams before, I've heard from you guys that, you know, will this, or I've heard the question, will this work? Can it read my ID? Because I'm having to take classes online and I have to show my ID. I have to record my ID through, or through the um, webcam in order for um, it to reckon uh, or to validate who I am. And so I thought I would use, you know, it comes, the, the eMeet Nova comes with a user guide here. Uh, it's got some text on it and there we go. It's adjusting. I can see, I can see all the way down to the even the fine print. I mean, not the super super fine print, but at least on a cover like this. I don't even think you can. I mean, yeah, you can see that. So you can see that on my DSLR camera. Um, I can see the same on um, or through this webcam. Um, so if I were trying to show something like my ID in that uh, situation, this camera would work for that. Um, so all around a very, very good webcam. I love again that the nuance of it having that flexibility to move this all around. Uh, I love the audio quality. I obviously love the video quality. Um, I just want to bring that in a little bit closer so you can see that I can just kind of adjust that all around. I just think that's, I, I think those are the things that 
a lot of people don't think about. And and then all of a sudden you're in a meeting and you need to show something and you've got to like pick up the camera and move it around. Here I could just adjust it. Um, so again, this is the eMeet Nova. There we go, little guy. Um, 1080p autofocus webcam, two mics. Uh, that autofocus I think is super cool. Um, but I've been very happy with the Emi products. I, again, I think the quality is there. Um, I think the autofocus on this camera versus others that I've tried um, is, is, is a super cool feature because of doing things like having so many online meetings and needing to, you know, kind of quickly adjust. Maybe you've got someone else in the room with you. Uh, you've got your family wanting to, to say hello to grandma and grandpa uh, via a, a video conference. It's going to adjust to the faces that are coming into the screen. Or if you've got a child that's jumping up and kind of, uh, you know, needing to get in the shot, it's going to adjust um, for them as well. So I think that's a pretty cool feature. If you are in the market for a webcam, I think you've got a good option in this. Um, and again, it always comes down to quality. Quality image, quality audio, that hands down beats everything. So check it out, eMeet Nova. I'm Joshua Harrell. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.